Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls PvP and another weapon showcase. I have to apologize right now if you can hear any noise in the background. That would be a hair dryer. My girlfriend decided to blow dry her hair while I'm doing this. So, sorry guys, you have to deal with it just like I have to. So, getting started. This time I am using the Black Knight Halberd. This Black Knight weapon is one of the best common ones. You usually will see a greatsword, um, the Black Knight greatsword, the ultra greatsword greatsword, you know what I mean? And the Black Knight great axe over this one. Now, strangely enough, this weapon actually will deal higher damage than the Black Knight great axe. Even though its AR, when two-handed, is right around 100 damage lower. So, that's interesting and strange, and I blame From Software for their nerfing weirdly. So, yeah. Moving forward, some basic info about this weapon. Like all Halberd class weapons, when you miss, you will have a whiff animation, just pointing that out right now. It requires 32 strength and 18 dexterity in order to wield. It has a D scaling in strength and an E in dexterity, and weighs 14 units, making it the second heaviest Halberd class weapon under the Giant's Halberd, which weighs 16. So it's definitely way, way up there in weight. Now, some pros and cons about the weapon. I would have to say that the biggest pro of the weapon would actually be its damage output. It's a lot higher than its AR would suggest, as I mentioned previously. I mean, right there, 726 on a backstab, not bad. Earlier in the video, um, over a thousand damage, um, about 1,025, I think it was, on a post, and. On average, hitting right around 400, 420-ish with a two-handed R1. Compare that to the Black Knight Great Axe and hitting about 380s with a two-handed R1. Definitely a significant increase and strange considering its AR is about 100 lower. So, I'm going to have to say that the damage output is very deceiving on this weapon and is its biggest pro. In addition to that, other pros would be its reach. Its moveset is pretty good at dead angling, and you can combo someone pretty well with just R1 spam, really. Just unlock an R1 spam at angles with it, and you can dead angle. Um, other than that, though, the list of pros for this weapon is pretty short. Now, its cons, I would have to say that the biggest con would be its R2 attacks, and although they are significantly more reliable, than the R2s of other Black Knight weapons. Um, with these ones, either I've got an amazing bit of luck at landing them, or they are just more reliable. They're faster, it seems, and they've got more reach. So, that's that. Uh, either that, or the fact... Whoops. Um, Alright, anyway. So, sorry about that. I... I got a little bit distracted. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. Um, where was I? The cons. The biggest con of the weapon. It's R2s. Even though they are better than most of the Black Knight great Black Knight weapon R2s, they are still hard to hit with and easily punished. That being said, it's very satisfying when you land them. So you'll probably be going for them a lot if you're anything like me. And you'll regret it, but when you land them, you get that good feeling. So, yeah. Other cons of the weapon, I would have to say its weight is a con, considering it is the second heaviest of the Halberd class weapons. Its R2s, although they are a con, its weight is definitely up there in competition for being its biggest. Because, I mean, I've got a good bit of luck at landing its R2s. I don't know why, but oh well. So, other than that, I would have to say, even though it's just a minor thing, when you're doing R1s with this weapon, it's one-handed and two-handed R1s. The first swing has a longer reach than the second. Why that is, I, I don't really know. Um, it just it is that way, so oh well. If someone is just out of your reach and you try and combo them, you'll leave yourself open, you'll whiff, and then that's bad news for you. Um, one more good thing I actually forgot to mention, its rolling attacks are very good at dead angling, so that's something else to keep in mind, and it sounds like my girlfriend's done drying her hair, so I really don't have much time. Good thing there's only about a minute left for me to do commentary. Okay, so, that pretty much actually sums everything up, strangely enough. 
Uh, right there, I like that little dodge I just did. So, anyway, just to quickly recap, the biggest pro of the weapon, I would have to say, would be the damage output. Considering the fact that it's deceiving for the AR that this has. I mean, earlier in this fight I hit a 440 with a two-handed R1. My AR is just over 500. Usually that is not the case. So, yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Biggest con of the weapon would either be a toss-up between its R2s or the weight of the weapon itself. Um, basic info on the weapon yet again, 32 strength, 18 dexterity, 14 weight, and yeah, all that good stuff that goes with it. So this is the last fight. I actually, I didn't expect something to happen. Coming up right around here, there he is, that red phantom. I did not know he was there. So as soon as I saw him, I was like, okay, I can work with this, and decided to help. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys enjoyed this last fight, and I will see you next time.